Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded November 19th, 2015. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to talk about the use of encrypted communications in the Paris terrorist attacks, some Google security news, Comcast password resets, and the Wells Fargo cybersecurity survey. As always, this episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cyberary. Get the latest hacking and security training from cyberary.it. Visit hacknaked.tv forward slash cyberary for a referral link. So in the recent uh, terrorist attacks in Paris, um, it's brought forward the discussion about encrypted communications and how law enforcement and intelligence agencies and government officials come you know, saying that we need backdoors, a way to break encryption. And we've heard this over and over and over again. Here's some interesting things. The terrorist attacks, they weren't planned using encryption. The uh, the cell phone that was gathered, that was tossed in a trash can outside of an apartment by the prime suspect, was unencrypted. Uh, the SMS messages and phone calls were all unencrypted. No encryption was used in planning these attacks. So the the rhetoric that we need backdoors into encryption, we need to break encryption to catch terrorists is False. It's bullshit. <laughs> they can't even catch these guys prior to when they're not using encryption. Saying that they need to break encryption to catch them is just an outright lie. Um, so a lot of that was uh, my opinion. Um, we'll have links to a full article on the on the Intercept about about these communications that were used and and what the law enforcement has found so far. You'll find that in our show notes. On to some Google security news. Google is going to be ending uh, Chrome updates for some end-of-life OSs, including Vista, XP, and OS X 10.8. Uh, this will be yet another extension for Chrome updates for XP. They originally were supposed to end in April of 2015. They've been pushed again to... Um, April of 2016. This mirrors uh, Microsoft's extension yet again of extended support for XP, uh, which seems to be the operating system that refuses to die. Also, Google will be beginning to warn users of uh, Gmail of any emails they received that were sent unencrypted. Uh, Google said that over the, since 2013, they've seen an increase from about 33% to about 66% of opportunistic TLS between in, for incoming mail. Uh, so this is where the mail servers will try to communicate with each other and try to establish a TLS connection with each other before sending email. So that's doubled in the last two years. Uh, based on that and based on recent you know security and privacy concerns, Gmail is going to be beginning to warn users when they receive emails from an outside source that is unencrypted. Recently, Comcast just reset the passwords for some 200,000 users. This was after a list of just over half a million Comcast accounts credentials went on sale on the dark web. Uh, about 60% of these accounts were inactive or bad credentials. Comcast is reporting that there was no breach. Um, the source is up in the air right now. People suspect that these were gathered as some part of a phishing campaign. The list did finally sell uh, on the dark web for $1,000. Given the quickness that uh, the list sold and how fast Comcast reset these accounts, it's speculated that Comcast was the actual buyer of the list. Finally, Wells Fargo uh, has published a cybersecurity survey. Should be noted that Wells Fargo does sell cyber insurance, and this survey centers around 
uh, cyber insurance. Uh, some takeaway, some big takeaways from this survey are that 85% of the large and medium-sized companies that were surveyed have purchased cyber insurance, and 44% of those have filed a claim in the past year. Um, the primary reasons cited for purchasing cyber insurance are to protect their business against financial losses and to protect their shareholders. See here, they're not worried about protecting their customers or their employees. They're worried about protecting their bottom line. That's what it all comes down to here. You can find the full report, uh, link to it in our show notes. That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks.